Do we have more airplanes? It seems that these guys don't have the range. Or at least not for the whole area. Spanish Civil War has started. These guys are about to shatter. Our troops are in great shape. Needless to say, <laughs> that makes me happy. Okay, let's select maybe this guy, keep him here or actually move him over there. We unlocked our first deck. Some of this stuff takes so long to research that I think it's beneficial if we keep going down this tree. Maybe wrong though. Need better cruisers. Hey, we won! We're reaching their VP, their capital, and probably only VP. This is a suicidal attack, 100% suicidal, they have no organization, almost no strength, but they're still attacking. How's the production going? It's better. I'm not sure I want motorized or if I can afford it, so let's reduce and increase the production of artillery. Of the limit, so one of you died. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, surrender quite soon. Just uh, out of curiosity, we lost two thousand two k. They've lost twenty thousand, twenty seven thousand. So. Let's say we're doing well. Okay, we still have this cav. Let's upgrade it to a motorized division. And finally, get rid of this. Goodbye. It's still very early, but I may want some tanks. But I'm being um, I'm playing it safe. At least I want to have something strong before I start building stuff that I cannot 
that I probably cannot afford. I'm not sure though. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Tight. Okay, let's keep moving. combat with we have 12 divisions this should be another slaughter if they manage to reinforce can make a move on their capital But this may be very costly, we're not exactly in a hurry, at least not at this point. So let's wait for these guys to arrive at their destination, then attack from multiple directions. Wonderful, making my job even easier. Another suicidal attack, they have no more, no less than one soft attack. 1.4, 1.7, but they're still attacking. Okay, cool. Should be it for Ethiopia. Twenty-eight points. There we go. The capital is about to fall. Let's connect these two supply areas. Should be surrendering now. Yep. Have the peace conference, Treaty of Addis Ababa. We want everything. They were annexed. Let's move all these dudes to a port. To bring them to the home land. We just won uh, the war against Ethiopia, that was the easiest part, we still have a shit ton of work to do, and um, if I don't build right or well, I'm gonna have, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a lot of trouble, so let's hope I, I know what I'm doing. 
Keep in mind that I barely played this game. I have it um, for um, less than 48 hours. So far, uh, things seem to go going well. For reorganization purposes, I would simply get rid of these guys and redo everything from scratch. But some of these dudes are regulars and that's gonna cost us some um, equipment to train them to regular status. So that would be dumb. There's not a good reason to put everyone in the capital, like in Hearts of Iron 4, uh, Hearts of Iron 3. But I'm just gonna do it. Because I want to. <laughs> okay, we just gained a couple of uh, civilian factories. Let's grab another two. Let's bring the airplanes home. Okay, let's see what happens if I... Uh, we have fighters, fighters, fighters. Let's create an... Shit ton of wings. Okay, let's see what happens if I disband uh, some tactical bombers. Should have all the equipment back. I can't even do that. Man, I needed to test the Air Force before actually starting streaming. I'm I'm looking quite awkward. Does anyone know <laughs> know how to actually disband a wing? much with the uh, naval bombers. Yeah, sure. Let's remove them all. Reorganize all this crap. We have no more wings. Wonderful. If we want to create one, we just have to grab it from the reserves. Thanks, Botsman. Mm, 141 political power.
Okay, interwar interwar artillery. Let's keep researching it. Wow. It's very ahead of time. So scrap that. Actually, I think we need cruisers. Let's research that. So we have one, our first 150 points. Let's see how can we use them. Alien factory. Construction, refinery, construction speed. Anyone that gives extra power per month, this one. Very, very important decisions early on. This guy will help us uh, grab more power. Army experience gain. This guy would speed up everything. Then, if we unlock this, we speed up everything too. Factory, factory output plus 15%. Research time um, minus 10%. I think I'm gonna go with this. The flat 10% increase of everything. I mean, a reduction. For the research speed and um, production efficiency. Okay, sure. Now we need more. Um, we need more civilian factories. Okay, let's train some dudes. Cannot live with these templates, they're so garbage. It was a very poor decision on my part. I need to grab 250, 250 points again, quickly, as quickly as you can, to grab this guy. I cannot deal, with, cannot use those templates, they're very garbage. Okay, let's go with anti tanks. Not sure that's the best at this point. It clearly not the best. Mm. 
what do we need? It tree steel. Wow. I guess I just made with a, a very poor choice. I'm down to six civilian factories. Anyway, at least the research is going faster and um, we'll be we're building more stuff too. Increase the production by 10%. Oh. <laughs> Delmato 21 is saying waiting waiting for Marco to conquer the world as Albania in Hearts of Iron 4. We're gonna have to wait a, a while. I'm still learning the game. But if it's possible, I'm sure I'll do it. I've, I've managed to do it in all the other games. So I'll do in this one too, for sure. If it's possible. Okay, if we were to go beat you up. I'm sure we can. But let's recruit some troops first. I'm gonna go with the mountain troops again, still. Thing is, we don't have. We don't have everything that we need. So, you want motorized? Yeah, sure. Those are support. I would love it. tip is I would love to re reply to your comment but I guess I can't not until because I'll probably be reviewing the game to reply to the comment and I can't <laughs> Japan versus the world the Soviet penguin wants to see a Japan versus the world in this game. Well, I don't think that's even possible. You know why? I don't think it's even possible. Because in this game, apparently, we have to justify war. Every single, every single time we press the declare war button, we want to press the declare war button, we have to justify it. That costs political power. That costs political power, and um, I would have to wait I don't know how many years to actually grab all that political power to be able to press the declare war button on everyone at the same time. So it's 
I, I don't like to say it's impossible, but with my current knowledge of the game, right now, with my current knowledge of the game, I don't think it's possible to reach mid-1937 and simply declare war on everyone. Despite, it would actually be suicidal too. Karnuba is saying you get an 80% reduction in cost and time for justification. Once at war with majors. But what I did in in the previous version of the game, I I declared war on on everyone at the same time. Any green dudes here? Okay, let's let's improve, let's upgrade all of these to mountain. I want to improve this template, but for now, um, let's do this. We only have mountain troops with support, with artillery support, which we lack a shit ton of uh, weapons. How the hell am I gonna do this? We really need to improve the output of the industry. We really do. So much. Uh, I, I don't think I can have this artillery. Well, maybe I can. It's it's, uh, in, it's still increasing the efficiency. We now have a better fighter. I guess let's build some. Even if it's only a token. Okay, we're done with that. Let's see, industry. Construction speed plus 10%, yes. But I also need these, damn. We really need these. 
This is in the industry. That, politi that political power is absolutely mandatory for Italy. So I guess my probably my best decision would have been to recruit the dude that increases the political power. Not sure. Lots of. I I can see now. I can now see that um, we have lots. Huge opportunity opportunity costs opportunity costs for whatever we do in this game early on. It's simply huge. It's the opportunity costs opportunity costs seem to be greater, much greater than the last game. Industrial effort. So we have um, more. Military factories. This takes so long to build, so darn long, that I don't I don't know if this is worth it. I seriously uh, doubt it, but on the other hand, the manpower is the most important thing in this game, I think. So, good divisions, great divisions are gonna conserve the manpower. But I don't know if the firepower provided by these brigades actually is worth these these many factories I doubt it is I really do okay we lack some other stuff still yeah we really need to expand grab some more land or else we're we are done I think the priority should be to go beat up Yugoslavia. I think I saw some some metal. Source map mode. You have metal there. Um, sorry, this is aluminium. This is steel. Lots of oil. Yeah, we need this stuff. But can we grab it without uh, triggering a world war ahead of time? <laughs> 